wife tales for... What's an old wife? Older than me. Older than grandma. For a gender predictor, so I am 21 weeks and two two days today. And um, and we're not trying. We're like experimenting. We're not gonna try. When you see what we're testing, we're not gonna try and, like to eat them. Um, so I'm five months at the beginning of my five months. So um, we're doing basically little tests to at home before we find out like the actual gender of what we think it is yes so we have a couple that are just going to be discussed and if it's a point for a boy we'll put it in the cup for a point for a boy and then if it's um, for a girl we'll put it in the cup for a girl and then we have some that are so we have a lot that are have to do with pee so a pee in a Thing. And it, it smells really wonderful right here. Pea and cabbage and onions. So garlic. We'll start with the red cabbage. So um and then all the ones with pea mostly have to sit for five minutes, so we'll come back to like Yeah, we'll we'll start to test are. it and then put it in. Okay, so the red cabbage one. Taking different angles here. Edit later. Um, the red so cabbage. the red cabbage, you take a um, cabbage and you boil it to um, get the, the juice out of it. And then you take the same amount of your urine. So I peed this morning when I woke up, so it's fresh. Not really fresh, but fresh urine because it's been sitting for a little bit. And um, you pour it into the juice. the juice and then you let it sit for a little bit. And then we'll come back with the results and I'll tell you if it's... What, it, what the colors mean. Okay. Next one. Garlic. Oh, did you want to bite the garlic one first? Okay, so we have two garlics. One's with pea and one's without pea. <laughs> and she's not going to taste the garlic with the pea. She's going to taste the garlic so by itself. So there's... Um, I guess I should do the pea one first. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the garlic, the garlic and the pea test. It says to put two cloves of garlic mm -hmm. into some urine. So you pour these two cloves of garlic into urine, and then you let it sit for five minutes in the urine, and basically we'll come back to that one. Because they all have to basically to make five react. minutes. Um, okay. um, we have two, we're trying with two different onions, even though it's supposed to be the same reaction, but just for it. Just so we wanted to see, because everyone we saw showed with a purple onion, or a red onion, and we just were curious if it would, I think it's because of the color, partly, too. But we wanted to just see if it would change anything for so the urine purposes. The red. We have a red onion, and so basically you take the red onion and you put the, the, little hairy part. the bottom in and then a couple pieces in to the urine and you let it sit for five minutes. And then it does its magic or whatever. And then the same for the yellow one, you do the exact same thing as you have the bottom and you put it in and it soaks for five minutes. And then our next one is baking soda. So the baking soda one. No, that one just goes into it. So the baking soda one is you take two tablespoons of um, baking soda and you put it over pea so that basically. And then if it fizzes after you pour it all in, and you let it sit for a moment because it might need to be stirred. Yeah. Also, yeah. You stir it a little bit. If it doesn't fizz, then it's supposed to be a girl. If it fizzes, 
Then it's a blue. And all the way around fizzy. And it's like a white foam on top. It's supposed to like be white foam and bubbles. I think it was just to pour the urine over the fizz. Because like when you pour vinegar over the thing. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to react. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that we stir it up a little bit. Does this sit for two minutes? Yes. Okay. So we'll come back with the, that one too because it, it does have to sit for a little bit to get the full reaction because it has to basically process. Okay. And then the sugar is basically the same thing. You're going to pour the, the urine over the sugar and you mix it. Okay. Can't mix it. Can't use that one. Get a good to try. Um, I will be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, she's back. She's going to start and then we'll put it to the side. And, um, and let it sit for a little bit. So the next one we have is called a matchstick. So you basically take a match like a match and you put cotton, like you take a cotton ball, you wrap it to look like a Q-tip and then you dunk it into pee for a few seconds just to make sure that it gets pee on it and then you have to sit, let it, once it's like merged, submerged in your pee, you let it sit for a minute to dry and then we'll show you the results of what it is. So while all those are sitting, we're going to do some ones that don't have to be really tested. It's just basically on like a yes or no, basically. Yes. So we'll start with the garlic because I want to get this done. <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, the other garlic one is basically you take garlic and a clove of garlic. A, cl a clove of garlic and while you're supposed to eat it, and if you don't smell it while you're eating it, then it's supposed to be a girl. And then if apparently if you smell it while you're eating it, it's a boy. I don't really know how accurate that is because, you know, I'm it's garlic and I smell, smell it. it right now. But <laughs> so can you smell it in your nose? Do you like to smell it? A little bit. Okay. I can smell it a little bit, but I also smelt it before. So it's like, I smelt it before I put it in my mouth. Like, I didn't put it up to my nose and smell it. So what do you think? Did you, did you smell it more after you chewed it? Or no? And I feel like it was the same, to be honest. It smells the same to me. Like, I don't feel like there was a change of smell. Okay, hold on. I smell it now more. Probably because my breath smells like it. Hold on. Um, so, I don't know. Because I do smell it, and I did not not smell it while chewing it, you know, and I smelt it before. So, I can't really tell if it was just because I smelt it before or if I smelt it... Um, like, it's just a regular smell. I don't think that it's... Um, I've also seen another one for the garlic one where you sort of chew it and you let it sit and then later on down the line you're supposed to smell it in your pores. I think you gotta eat a lot of that. Um, but we're not doing that. Because <laughs> um, that's sort of gross. Here, I'll give you some gum so that you don't have the garlic smell anymore. And so I honestly, for me, I don't smell it. Okay, so we're going to have items. I smell it, but I don't, but I also smelled it before. So we're going to have a we're not sure category because in science, you know, you get to test things you don't know. Oh, Sometimes. We're gonna put a timer. timer. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with our little cards that are just basically yes or no's or boy or girl based off of what people say online so so 
some of the most common ones are sweet and salty. So people say you are sweet sometimes. Sometimes you can be salty. People say if you crave more oh, sweet cravings, okay. foods than you want. Or you're having a girl, and if you crave more salty food, then you're supposed to be having a boy. Um, the only cravings I've had are more salty, I would say, than sweet. I don't really care for sweets as much. Yeah. Um, the only thing I think that I've had that was somewhat sweet was um, jelly, like on a Walnut butter and jelly sandwich. So, uh, so I would give that point to a boy because I don't really eat sweets, and I'm not craving anything sweet. All right, next. Do I see some reactions going on over here? Some of them didn't react. So I don't know. Sorry. Okay, so the <laughs> next one is morning sicknesses. So this one's a little different because, um. For morning sickness, for me, I did have morning sickness, um, but it also says for with nausea, I don't really get nauseous, it's just sometimes morning sickness, but, but it, it says severe. Severe, severe morning sickness is a girl, and then if you barely have or basically no sickness, it's a boy. You basically just only threw up like when you first got up or after you first ate. So I don't think it was severe. Because to me, severe means like you wake up, you're doing it like all day long. And I didn't throw up a lot like no. in the morning. It would be after I ate, like sometimes after I ate, but it wasn't very much of it. And I've also, like my mom, she said that, well, she was pregnant with me and my brother, she didn't really have more. I didn't have more sickness at all. Or for not, either yes, one. So. So it's sort of, you can't really predict yeah, you can't, it yeah. <laughs> from that, but I only threw up basically after I ate certain foods, and then also if I had like a warm food, yeah, and then I had food. drink uh, like a cold drink, yeah, I mean, you know, my body it. was sort of uh, it, like upset it. So I would say more of like, it wasn't no sickness, but I did have a little bit. So but I it was, wasn't severe. So we're going to say boy? I would say a boy, a point for a boy, because... I wasn't okay all day. Yeah, and it so wasn't severe. The next one is acne. So um, basically, if you have a lot of acne, it's supposed to be like the if you're having a baby girl, the baby girl steals all your beauty. Is what a lot of people say. Um, as well, where, she did take all my beauty. I'm sorry. As where you have barely to no acne. That yeah, means that you're, but I didn't have any you're sort of at your pregnancy glow, which I think everyone at, by is. five months is usually at a pregnancy glow, but it's supposed to be you're having a boy. I haven't had really much acne, but I already had a little bit of acne before I was pregnant, and it healed. I have a little bit of acne on the side of my face, but it's not to a point like... It might just be scars from acne scars. As where, like, it's not all over my face, like, not, like, everywhere. And they're not really noticeable. Okay, so, so what are we deciding? So it would be a boy, because okay. I barely have it. Right. Wait, 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 hold on. Grandpa Bear. What? Do you, you know, you don't believe in all this hocus pocus stuff, but what do you think or hope for is your first grandbaby, a boy or a girl? I don't care. Either way, I'm fine with it. He is. Just as long as he's healthy. Alright. Okay, next test. Another one for skin is dry or oily skin. So, if during pregnancy your skin is more oily, you're supposed to be having a girl. And if your skin is more dry, then you're supposed to be having a boy. So, I have dry skin already. And I don't really have oily skin. So I would say a boy, because I don't have oily skin. It stayed the same. It hasn't changed. It so. hasn't changed or anything. And it did say if it does change, it will change, you know, or it's supposed mm -hmm. to change. Mm -hmm. um, so the next one is weight on your belly, like just in the front of your belly, 
or all around. Um, we'll insert a picture of my baby bump. You know, we'll take one and we'll insert it. Yes. So if you're during your pregnancy, if your weight is just at your belly, then you're having a boy. If it's distributed throughout your whole body, your back, your butt, your arms, your legs, then you're having a girl. Um, my arms and my legs haven't grown any mm. or gotten any bigger. Mm. Um, and I feel like most of my weight is at the front. Then, because like my chest has grown and my... But your chest is going to grow because it which, has to do it. Yeah. My chest and my belly have grown, but I don't really see any difference of my legs or my arms or like my... Back. Your hip or anything like in the back. Of like it doesn't so, right. look any different. Right. So that would be a point for a boy. All right. Um, for shoe size, so um, for shoe size, it says if your foot size during pregnancy doesn't change your sh like your shoe, you you don't change shoe size. Like you don't have to get in. And you always grow. You don't ever shrink. So obviously. If it stays the same, then you're having a girl. If you need new shoes and your foot has grown, um, then you're having a boy. So I did have to buy new shoes um, because my shoes don't fit anymore. So that would be a point for a boy. Um, just because like, we got the next size up because my feet were too big yeah. for it. And that could also be just because my feet have grown out of it, but... It could just be normal swelling. We, we're assuming... We don't know. Yeah. Because... So we could put that in the I don't know, actually. Okay. Because well, I don't know, because I only moved up one size. I didn't move up, like, a bunch of sizes. Or my feet are, like, huge, huge. Yeah. Because they look the same, but I did need to move up a size. Yeah. Um, sleep. For sleep... It's um, basically what side you choose to lay on, mostly during pregnancy. Um, if you lay more to your right, then you're having a girl. If you lay more to the left, then you're having a boy. She lays on her back, though, most so of the time. So I lay on stomach. my back or my stomach <laughs> more, but I do also lay on my left side. But that also is because... It's you're supposed to lay more on your left side because of the organs. And because all that. it helps you breathe, and you don't have to um, it, like make sure. You, and it also helps with nausea mm -hmm. if you lay on your side. So I wouldn't really. For me, I guess for both, I would say I don't know because I don't really lay on a certain side. I usually sleep on my back. We say we don't know. I can't determine because I don't sleep on my side really. And that's how it's, I've always been. I've always slept like on my stomach or on my back. Please, mom. I have my mom just go pee. So, while she's doing that, um, getting a towel, we'll go on to the next one, and we can um do some of the ones that are quiz related or whatever. I mean, test related because they should be done in a little bit. But we'll finish with this. Low or high belly? So if your baby bump is more higher up, then you're having a girl. If your baby bump is more low, then you are supposed to be having a boy. I I think it's more low than high. Like, um, I've read the things where if you're pregnant with a girl by five months, you usually show more. As where if you're not, like if you're having a boy, it doesn't, a lot of people don't show until like seven months. I don't really think that I'm showing as much. I don't think so. I don't think you're really, they're not really showing. And it, it's not good. And I have a bump, but it's not like huge. So I would say, and it's more, to me, it's more lower, but. It's not really huge. So I would say a boy for that because yeah, I'm not, I don't have a high bump. Um, so do you want to talk about some of the reactions we have? Because we do get a couple reactions. Wait for five minutes. It's been five minutes. Okay, so the baking soda one. So, oh wait, I gotta take a picture. 
The baking soda one so says if, if there was... you have fizz as a baking soda, it means you're having a boy. And the fizz is supposed to be all around. Like a beer or a... And then if you have no fizz at all, then it's a girl. So there is a little bit of fizz, but not a lot. But it's like around it the rim. Around. So I guess that would be a point for a boy. Mm-hmm. So the next one is an eye vein. So basically it's a V or a Y shape in your eye. Like in your on your on your pupil. Oh, the veins. Not pupil. Your, your white part of your eye. So if you have it just on your left side, then it's a girl. And if you have it on the right side, it's a boy. And then it says if you have it on both, it means you're having a girl or you're having twins. Okay. I don't know. She wants me to hold the camera. That's too bright. Okay, we can hold it like this so we can see it now. We'll insert this. So, I don't see anything. She had no veins. Well, there's one. Okay, so which, which eye is that? Is, does that look like a vein? Uh, sort of. Uh, oh, okay, I'll make it to the light so you can see. Look straight. It's a Y. A Y, and then I don't know, I couldn't see it in this Okay, eye. so look this way. So I have not let that way. I don't see one in this eye at all. Turn to your face at me. That one I don't see. So this is my right side, so a boy. I don't really have any veins in my eyes. So. I don't know. Okay. Is this a cute hat? My grandma got this hat for me. It's a, it says mama bear on it. Okay. I took it off so I could see. <laughs> thing. So we did the bite and uh. we're doing the basically the results of the onions and stuff right now. So um, they didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I, they didn't. They didn't change. There's no fizz. There's no bubbles. Um, which yeah. means that it's a girl. If they have right. no change or no fizz, it means it's a girl. So those will go in the girls. And it, it might. Some things said that you have to do it right away. We let her piece it, but some didn't say that. Yeah, some people so, went pee it and then put it in like right away. So and it then could be that. The show, so. It could be that. It could not be that. You know. But we're going off of just what it says, literally, just like that. Because there were people that were like, I peed this morning and I divvied it up. So, whatever. So, there's no results in there at all. No fizz at all. Yep. So, the next one is the garlic one, where you take the two cloves and you leave it in five minutes. If there's bubbles on or around the garlic, then you're having a boy. If there is no change or nothing like that. And it also says, uh, yeah, then it's a girl. It's a There's nothing. So, girl. That's a girl. So, we'll into a picture. Like, we'll show it again, of course. Um, so, it says when you mix the cabbage and the, the um, pea, and then you let it sit. If it's reddish pink, we're going to shine a light in all. Yeah, and they, we'll show you because yeah. people put it up to the sun, you know, to see. Because we're sitting also in sort of a dark area, so we can't see. If it's reddish pink, it's a boy. If there's no change or it's sort of green, like there's a hint of green, then you're having a girl. Well, it's sort of pink. Like a light purple. I Yeah, it's lighter than it was because it was a darker purple. It doesn't look like the the purple it was. Right. Because it was dark. I right. would say, I guess, a little bit, like, lighter. Like a... Yeah. But there's... But it's... I don't see green. I don't see green. It's lighter than the purple it was. So, it did have a little bit of I don't know. So, do we change. put that in that? We don't know. I don't... I would put it in I don't know because yeah. it's not red or yeah. pink. Okay. So. And then I've seen ones that are, like, where it's red or pink. So... One of the ones is a dilated pupils, so I'm supposed to stare into a mirror for one minute, and if my eyes dilate, then I'm having a boy, or if they're not dilated, then I'm having a girl. I just want to change. Okay, so. So, let me stare into the mirror. Okay. Let's see. I don't know how long it is. 
Staring contest with yourself, don't think. And then my mom would tell if it's a uh, because I can't really tell. Yeah, you can't see to an eye. Well, you could, but it's the card you're supposed to. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Minute. Okay. Let me so see it's been a minute. Ooh, these are how my eyes look. They are dilated. So they are dilated? Oh. It's a boy. And a boy. All right. So the one matchstick one has to dry a little bit longer. So we'll discuss the these two. So this one's called the Mayan predictor. And so you basically, it's you. They have a calendar, and we'll enter a picture of the calendar. And it's you basically do the age of your conception and the month of your conception. Right. So if it's even and even or odd and odd, then it's a girl or a girl. If it's even and odd or odd and even, then it's a boy. So, so I So conception cons age you were I was twenty. So that's and, an even. And then my baby was conceived August seventh, so that's odd. No, it's even. Even? Oh. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, 8th. That's weird. I don't know. On the color code, it says a boy, but on the like little thing at the bottom, it says it should be a girl. So, I guess this would be it. We don't know. Yeah, I would say, I don't know. <laughs> like, we, we saw one online, and we did the thing, and it says... Well, it's the exact same chart as what she showed. But it's kind of weird. So, anyway. All and right. then the next one is the Chinese gender predictor where you take your due date, which... Changed three times, but... I'm going to put the due date that's in my app first, and then we can also do the one that they've given me, which is very off. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So the one that they gave me was... Wait, the app. Oh, yeah, the app. The one that app gave me from, like, tracking my period and tracking my time from when we went, when I found out how long I was, I put it into my, basically a period tr tracker, but it's for a pregnancy tracker. And it said that my due date was April 22nd, 2023. Then you put your birth date. So, for that one, we'll enter yeah, the sure. picture because you can't really see it says a girl, so if I'm apparently on the Chinese predictor, if for what my date on the app says, it's a girl. If we do the app, what one doctor said to me, which we don't know because it's very confusing because we haven't really been told, um, was... Well, no, we were told by the doctor what her due date was, and it was a week later, roughly, from what... Is May 4th? The doctor called... No, the first the doctor told us at the appointment that it was going to be April 30. Then when they called to set up the next appointment and verify, we were told May 4th. So we're just going to go with May 4th because that's what officially is the due date in the medical file right now. Yeah, because it was April... 30th originally. 30th. What, 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 she told, what the doctor told us at the office. But then on my app it says the twenty second, yeah. and then the doctors, when they called to make an appointment f to check what gender I had, they said May fourth. So, so it's <laughs> been, so which also says a girl. Okay, so we're gonna put in the thirtieth though, just because. And then we were also put curious in what if what they said. Because that was what the doctor said by what we told her and what we said for the app and all that. Just so that we have all of them. So, so far, two of them say girl. And then we'll find out what this one says. Is a girl. Okay. So, that's going in the girl one. 
So, I, with all of the ones that they've said, I guess in prediction it's a girl, but you can't really predict. Oh, oh. So, matchstick. So, we're doing the matchstick now. So, the matchstick one is you you put the pee on the matchstick and it dries. If, and then, if the cotton burns when you light it, it means you're having a boy. If it doesn't burn, then it means you're having a girl. So my mom's putting fire on it. It's It looks like there's a little bit of burning marks on it, but I don't know if it's doing anything. Sticking straight on it. I'm sticking it on there. Like, I can see little burns. It's supposed to catch on fire. But no. It's it not didn't catch on fire. fire. So, so that's a point for girls. So do we want to count up what we got? Okay, so for we have... We're not, we're, so the, I don't know if part of that because we said we don't know for tests. We don't have results. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But like three of those or four of those, um, we haven't got the results yet. So, so basically, eight of those for I don't know, which is okay. not bad. So then for a girl, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Six for girls and then four boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine for boys, six for girls, and then eight for I don't know. So Basically, right now it's leaning towards a boy, but there's also those unknown ones that don't know. Yeah. And then the ones that were... Oh, wait, hold on. Evan! What? Do you have to be an aunt or an uncle? What? <laughs> Do you hope to be an aunt or an uncle? Do you want a girl or a boy? A niece or a nephew? So, uncle says he'd like to have a boy. So, um... For me, so for my brother, it would be a boy. He said that he, he, I don't know if that means he thinks I'm having a boy or. Wait, you think or you want? Oh. Okay. He thinks I'm having a boy and he wants me to have a boy. So that, we're going to add a point to a boy. Me? My mom thinks it's a boy. Um... I think, honestly, to me, I've discussed it with a couple of my friends. I think I'm having a boy. But honestly, I don't care. If it's a, if, if, if the but baby's I also a girl, could I, have a I'm girl and I don't know. Um, I think I'm having a boy just because of some of the things. Not because even before we did these tests. Yes. Um, just because, like, a, a lot of my friends that have had boys, they didn't start showing until seven months. doesn't mean that I... But I don't really have a bump, but it does say most most of the time, by five months, you have a bump if you're having a girl. And I don't really have a big bump like that, because a lot okay. of my friends have even said that. They're like, it doesn't really show as much. So, so what do we have? Wait, we have eight, one, nine. Nine for two, boys, three, eight four, for unknown, five, and six for six, girls. Seven, eight. So, with... Um, the test test results, and then what we what some predictions were we have and then I'm the, I think twelve I'm, right now for boy. Six. And right now we have six, so we have half of the boys. For and then and then eight, for eight nine, because grandpa yeah, nine. grandpa doesn't know what it is. Doesn't so nine. Oh, obviously the ones for um. I don't knows are going to change when we do the actual measurements and whatever. Okay. Um, but for right now, as for the what we know, the boy is winning. The boy is winning. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. January. No, the 14th. The 14th of December. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be determined what the sex is until... Because my next ultrasound, like the 
like big, big. Well, the gender reveal one that they're going to do It's supposed to be in officially. January, but I also, if I am having a boy, because of how far along I am, they could probably tell. They might tell at my doctor's appointment this week, so we might find out before right. or after. And yeah. Or so January, I, I, so was, I told Molly that we don't like she, the doctor just to just write it down and we put an envelope so that way we can see. I mean, unless of course the baby goes ta da, and you can totally tell. Um, the age, you know what it is. But if you can't really determine, um, for sure, um, then we're just gonna we'll leave it. But if we get a result from her doctor's appointment this week, then we'll she'll put the picture in with the video. But um, yeah, when we get the actual. Um, she's going to be doing like this 3D um, ultrasound coming up in Which January. In January. And it is supposed to do the gender and then like any birth Everything. effects and whatever, different th different testing, yeah. DNA and all these other things and, that are going to be done. I mean, it could be determined that this doctor's appointment, because it does say from yes. week um, 20 to 22 and I'm 21 weeks. So it could be determined this week, but they also might not. So, so we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. And we'll add it in and we'll add in the other ones. So until next time.